<laughs> All right. All right, we're speaking to Julio here. And do we have permission to film you for possible international broadcast use? Yes, go for it. Very good, very good. Well, you're standing in line. Yeah, yeah. For what? Um, pretty much to get a ticket for Michael Jackson's This Is It um, movie to be played at the end of October. So you're in line and you've got another day and a half to wait. Yeah, yeah, another day and a half. And you camped overnight last night. Yep. To see a movie that'll probably be about two hours long. Yeah. <laughs> about about a guy who died recently. Yep. What is his appeal? I don't know. I like he's pretty like I think he's one of the biggest influences like to me like at least because like I want to do film. So um, I think all of his like music videos, which are pretty much just like short films, um, just had a pretty big impact on me at a young age. So. And like, I don't know, I just like love his talent that he like, he knew what he was doing. Like, I don't know, I think like his moves on the floor and his voice, I mean, it's just, it's a spectacle. Now, what do you think Michael went, heaven or hell when he died? Heaven. How come? I think, I don't know, I just, he was, I think genuinely a really good man. Good man. Now, how about you? If you died, where do you think you would go? We gave you one of these gospel tracks right there with the celebrity on the front. Kind of cool, huh? I like it. So it has the million dollar question on the back about where you think you would go. Where do you think you would go when you died? I, I'm pretty sure I'd go to heaven. How come? I think I'm a reasonably good guy. I think you are too. Yeah. Now, I have no complaints so far, I guess. I'm wearing a t-shirt of a man who went into the hospital with minor ailments yeah. and he never came out. He died. And I wear this shirt to remind me that at any given time, our lives can be taken away from us. Just like Michael Jackson, right? Yeah. He didn't expect to die at the age of 50. No, no. And all of a sudden he's gone, and you don't know for sure when you're gonna go. No, not for sure on that one. But you feel like you're a good person and you'll make it to heaven. Yeah. Let me ask you a, a few questions, see what happens, okay? Of course, of course. Do you think you've kept the Ten Commandments? Um, well, I think I'd have to know all of the Ten Commandments first. Uh, it's kind of hazy on that one. Yeah. But. Let, me, let me ask you about four questions, see how well you do, okay? All right, Ninth commandment says you shall not lie. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah, I've told a couple. What does that make you? A liar. Eighth commandment says... Yeah. But I guess for good reasons, I guess. Okay, but even if it's good, yeah. good reason or bad, you're still a liar, right? Yeah. Eighth commandment says you shall not steal. Have you ever stolen anything? Hmm. Even think, when you were a kid? Oh, when I was a kid, yeah, yeah. So what does that make you? A thief. Right, two more. Not doing so well, are you? No, not doing so well. Okay. Uh, third commandment says you shall not misuse the name of the Lord. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yeah, yeah. That's called what, do you know? Uh, I'm not sure now. It's called blasphemy. blasphemy. It's taking God's name, using it as a cuss word. Yeah. And God says he will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name because you're exchanging his name for a four-letter word to express disgust, right? And yeah. he gave you life and breath and everything you are. One more. Right. Jesus said that even if you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery already in your heart. Seventh commandment says you shall not commit adultery. So have you ever looked with lust? Yeah. 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 So what's your name again? Julio. Julio. By your own admission, you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart, and you have to face God on Judgment Day. If God judges you by the Ten Commandments, you've broken four, would yeah. you be found guilty or not guilty? I think I'd still be um, not guilty. Why would you be not guilty if you've admitted to breaking four of them? I think I could talk my way out of the four, and um, we still got six more to go. Well, let me ask you this. If God said to you, Julio, have you kept my Ten Commandments perfectly, what would you say? No. So would you be innocent or guilty of breaking His commandments? Yeah, if you look at it that way, yeah, I'd say then yes. Definitely. Yes what? Yes what? Yes, guilty? Yeah. So where do you think you would go if you're guilty, heaven or hell? Well, if that was the case, then I guess hell. Yeah, the Bible says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. No thief, yeah. no adulterer, no murderer can enter the kingdom of heaven. Have you ever murdered anybody? No, no. The Bible calls hatred murder. Yes. I, yeah. It starts right here in the heart, doesn't it? Yeah. So God would give you justice if you died because you've broken his commandments. Yeah. The soul that sins shall die. So let me ask you, does that concern you that you'd go to hell? Someone could pummel you in the middle of the night while you're camping out here tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. Someone could throw gasoline on you and set you on fire. I mean, they do that in downtown in L.A. 
to homeless people. Now you're not homeless, of course, yeah, but no. the bottom line is any of us could be snuffed away. Yeah. So does that concern you that you would go to hell? No. Concerns me. Not really, I guess. How come? I don't know. I think I I got a more. I, at least for me, I think I got a pretty weird view of hell. Tell me what your view of hell is. Kind of like um, like. I pretty much consider it like our jail system pretty much. Like I, if I go to hell, I'd probably just be there for like a short term and if I get good behavior, I could get out. Let me tell you what the Bible says, okay? It says it's eternal. It's described as a lake of fire, a place of great weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's a place where your own worm will never die. These are graphic imagery. Yeah. This is graphic imagery of how horrible hell is. Yeah. So you're not going to get out. Once you're there, you're there forever and there's no getting out. Yeah. So does that concern you knowing it's forever? I, no, I don't think so, no. Why? Um, well, just, um, I don't know. I think if you're put into a cer certain circumstance for, like, a, like a, forever, you pretty much just become immune to it. I don't think you'll be immune to it. You'll have your full senses that you will be, a to you, you will be able to experience the torment of hell forever and ever. And God must do this because he's a good God. Yeah. Let me explain that to you. Do you think murderers should be punished? Yeah. How about rapists? Yeah. How about thieves? Oh, yeah. How about liars? Yeah. You see, so all of us yeah. are guilty before God's standard. We must keep his commandments perfectly, but nobody can. Yeah. But you know what God did for you so you wouldn't have to go to hell? Sent Jesus. Yeah, what did he do? Pretty much gave up his only son. Well, he did. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die on a cross for you. He was buried for three days. He yeah. rose again to give you the hope of eternal life. You gotta turn away though from your sin. You have to repent yeah. and put your trust in him completely. When you do that, God will forgive you. He'll grant you amnesty. He'll declare you not guilty because justice has been satisfied. You broke God's law, right? Yeah. So you gotta pay the fine for yourself for eternity in hell, yeah. or you can take God's gracious offer of forgiveness through his son Jesus. But now, now you're his. Now you gotta live your life his way. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what's stopping you from having eternal life and turning to the Savior, Julio? I'm not sure. Unbelief? Yeah, probably mostly that. Unbelief that what I'm saying may not be entirely correct? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, but if I'm wrong and you're right where you're going to get and you have nothing to lose, but if I'm right and you're wrong, you have everything to lose, don't you? Yeah. So think about what I'm saying because Jesus said this, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, will not go to hell, but have everlasting life. You gotta repent, put your trust in the Savior. Don't just believe in Jesus, yeah. put him on like a parachute. You don't believe in a parachute at 20,000 feet, do you? You no. put it on. So think about that, okay, Julio? Of course, of course. And enjoy your uh, long wait in line, okay? Yeah, that's a long one. That's a long one. All right, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, uh, too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.